What's going on guys? Blinkfro here and today I'm bringing you week 7 game 6 of my Barry Sanders Heisman Challenge mode and as you can see we have 644 yards on the season and 6 touchdowns still once again not very close to our goals there and we are still in first place in the Heisman running at least we had a solid game last game against TCU uh, and after our challenging game against TCU which was our first ranked opponent now we are facing Kansas State, which I believe is ranked number one. We'll see that in a second because I forget right off the top of my head. And this is at home in Iowa State. And yes, we're facing Kansas State University. They are ranked number one overall in the nation. And uh, they get nothing out of their first drive. So we're on the ball. Barry Sanders not getting anything off that punt return. And currently our goals for this game I will look at in just a second is um, Barry Sanders had 600 or 269 all-purpose yards and four rushing touchdowns, um, but he lost his game against, I think it said Nebraska. So anyways, as you're going to see, there is one of my best runs of the game so far, um, but, you know, nothing really solid going. Um, and as you guys see, I'm using the reaction time quite a bit. And I do like this play right here where they bring the wide receiver in motion or the tight end in motion. It seems to always um, turn out to be a good result, a, uh, a large gain there. And here we're going to pick up a first down with Barry Sanders. And I tried out running the guys a little bit, running to the right, but that did not happen. So on first and 10, we're going straight up the middle and we juke kind of backwards and get dropped down for a gain of nothing. Uh, so second and 10, running straight up the middle. Uh, I take the wrong route and bump into my offensive lineman, and it doesn't really matter because we get called for holding anyways, which is going to then result in a third and 23. Um, I don't remember how we lost those three yards. It might have been from the quarterback getting sacked or something like that, uh, but it wasn't me because I show you every single time I touch the ball. Um, but we do get a nice Hail Mary play there to pick up a first down, and... That was a nice cut there. We totally shook the defender, and we got a seven-yard gain there. So now we're looking to get into the end zone, but we get brought down short of the first down marker. So on third and one, uh, <laughs> the defense gets called for encroachment. So we're good. Second and goal here. We get the ball over the middle, make a very nice cut, but we get stopped short again. Uh, so we're going to get one more crack at this, going straight down the middle, and we're going to get stopped short again. So I'm going to call for no huddle. And this time we are finally going to waltz our way into the end zone. It only took a billion tries, but we get a touchdown. And we are the first ones up on the board. But Kansas State comes right back with a field goal, but they miss. So we're still up 7-0. Um, and it's looking good. If we win this game, we could potentially be ranked. You know, you got to kind of assume if you beat the number one team, you should at least crack the top 25 if you have a decent record. And our record is 3-2, and two, I believe, on the season. Uh, so we really want to win this game, uh, give us give ourselves a shot at a bowl game. Um, the national title is pretty much out of it by now. You know, if you don't, you're not going to see a team that has two losses make it to the national title game, especially at Iowa State. But uh, you're going to see Kansas State. I think they get the touchdown and miss the extra point. Uh, so we're still up seven to six. Uh, I don't think they kicked two field goals, so it's definitely a touchdown and missing the extra point. And I should have juked on that play, but it's all right. We still got the lead. We still got a good return, and I don't know what happened. We must have turned the ball over, and Kansas State's going to go ahead and uh, get another touchdown and actually get the extra point this time. So we are down by six points currently, and, yes, I'm going to continue showing the kick returns because I just show you everything. Uh, like I said in my last video, uh, once I get feedback from you guys because I'm editing. I'm recording the uh, – wow, I'm editing this right immediately after – um, I just voiced over the last video, so I still haven't got feedback yet because um, I'm doing this on Saturday. You're probably going to see this video on Tuesday or later. Uh, but in this game, we're actually going to get some receiving stats, um, which you haven't seen too much of recently, and I was wide open there. But the quarterback luckily sees the guy going deep, and we get a touchdown uh, to match Kansas State's two touchdowns. But we actually get the extra point, so we're currently up by one. Um, but yes, uh, in my last video we started getting into the receiving game. In this game you're going to see more of that, um, which is good. I think I had about six receptions this game. Uh, so strong performance by Barry Sanders. Didn't have a strong performance on the ground, however. Um, but I am getting it done. We are getting the first downs, so that is good. I'm um, not really going to complain too much about the stats. Um, I just want to 
get the wins, get the uh, the yardage. Uh, well, the yardage, get the first downs, I should say. And uh, I'm not too too concerned about matching Barry Sanders' totals uh, in his Heisman season because you don't have to match it in order to win the Heisman. I've heard, uh, you know, you just have to have a Heisman performance type of season in order to win the Heisman. I know that sounded really, really stupid, but as long as your stats are better than the other guys and the running, you're going to win Heisman. Um, so I'm not too concerned. As long as I keep having strong performances, I don't need that 3,000, you know, close to 3,000 rushing yards with Barry Sanders. Uh, I'll be fine. I think it's like 2,600. Uh, but as you can see, we don't really have anything going. There's just a gap in this game where nothing's really going our way. Nothing's really going Kansas State's way. And it's just going back and forth, you know, Kansas State's not getting anything, we're not getting anything, they have to punt it to us, we have to punt it to them. And uh, here in the third with 50 seconds left, we actually have decent decent field position, we have, we're on like the 38 yard line, so we're looking to make a strike into the end zone, whether it be uh, through the air on the ground, or even just tack on a field goal, but knowing the computer... Uh, we, the computer does not like kicking field goals for some stupid reason. Uh, and I get a nice juke there, like I said in the past. Those jukes are really, really nice. I'm loving the jukes in this game uh, because I believe it is a new animation. And here we are on the 11-yard line. And uh, this play, I tried running around those guys, but that was a fail, and I lost five yards there. I do like that play from time to time. And here's another option play where the quarterback just does not pitch it, and he gets tackled behind for a loss. But you're going to see that we just get it in there for a touchdown. We go up by eight here. And if you remember college rules, you only need one foot in. If that was the NFL, that was no way a touchdown. Um, but Kansas State goes down, they get a touchdown, and they convert the extra point, the two-point conversion, I should say. So it was tied 21-21 with just less than two minutes left in the game. Um, so we do get the kickoff on the side, and I do like the side kicks and punts because you have a better chance of returning it to the house. Uh, but we don't make anything out of that. And here on the screenplay, I tried juking that guy out. I don't know why. And that was a fail. So third and inches, we're going to hand the ball off to a wide receiver. And he picks up about 15 yards there. So with 124 left in the game, we're just about at midfield. Uh, and like I said, Barry Sanders getting his receiving game going this time around. Just like last time. You're going to see we get a reception there. And I believe we get another reception here. Uh, just barely picking up the first down with about 50 seconds left in the game. Uh, we get a handoff there with a very nice juke, um, but even after all of that work, we only get one yard. So 25 seconds left in the game, we get the draw play, and we get tackled for a loss. So this is going to be interesting. 15 seconds left in the game. Uh, quarterback's looking DP, hits Barry Sanders, who gets a very nice, beautiful juke. And we're going to run to the side to burn off a couple seconds. And we go up with seven seconds left in the game, 28 to 21. Kansas State can't get anything going, and Iowa State wins against the number one ranked opponent, uh, the number one ranked team in the nation, 28 to 21. And no surprise here, the play of the game was the pass to Barry Sanders, and you're going to see that beautiful juke once again. Here we go, we get the ball, and we just juke that defender out, and we take this one to the house uh, to win the game. So I believe we had one touchdown on the ground and one through the air with Barry Sanders. And uh, we win the game 28-21. Can't say that enough. Uh, you're going to see my stats. And as always, thank you for watching and tune in next time.